Today, I wanna to go through one of the biggest mistakes that I see in Google Ads. And that mistake is that people do not add enough audiences to their Google search and their Google shopping campaigns. And this is a big issue because if you don't add these audiences to your Google Shopping and your search campaigns, the problem then snowballs and causes massive problems for other smart campaigns like Performance Max campaigns. And the reason for why people make this mistake is because at its core, they don't actually understand how audiences work and the reason for why you need these audiences collecting data through your Google search and your Google shopping campaigns. But before we get into today's teaching, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I started my very first Google Ads campaign way back in 2010 when I was launching my own business. And then since 2016, I've been a profitable Google Ads freelancer, earning a very healthy six-figure income every single year since then. And if you would like to learn more about how you can use Google Ads the right way to grow your own business, or so that you can become a Google Ads freelancer and use Google Ads to grow other people's businesses, I want you to actually go through and sign up to be part of my Google Ads 10X community. Now in this community, this is a community where I actually go through and share monthly advanced Google Ads teachings, which I actually don't share right here on my YouTube channel. And then I also run private group coaching and Q&A sessions. And this is a time where you can actually ask specific questions about your own campaigns and then get my advice and recommendations on how we can improve those campaigns for your business or your client's business. And then probably what I think is the best feature of this is that we have an active community of people who are passionate about Google Ads from all over the world who are working together to share each other's wins, to help solve each other's problems, or to test and trial and get some different data in what is working in Google Ads right now. So if that is something that you're interested in, what I want you to do is to go through and follow the link in the description below so that you can pre-register and find out some extra information. With all that said, let's get straight into today's teaching. Now, what I wanna make very, very clear, the reason for why people misunderstand why we need audiences and how to use them in Google Ads is that when people add audiences into their search and their shopping campaigns, they're just looking to select audiences which they think would be suitable for their product or their service. And while that is true, you do wanna be targeting audiences and detailed demographics which you think will be suitable for your services or your products. But it's not only that, because what you're also wanting to do is you're actually wanting to see what are the actual audiences and the actual detailed demographics which actually give you the highest level of data so that you can then come back and review that data and then make optimizations. And what we're doing with those optimizations by adding in bid adjustments is we're looking to focus budget on the best performing audiences and demographics and then we're looking to either lower the budget or exclude certain audiences which we've seen have a high spend but are not giving you any conversions. And the common problem is this, is that when people only add a couple, say five or 10 different audiences, when they actually go through and have a look at their audience data, they're only getting impressions and clicks from about 10% of the traffic, which then means that you've got the other 90% of the traffic, and then you have no idea of those audiences and those demographics that are in that 90% of the data that you don't have. You don't know which ones convert, which ones don't convert, which ones have a higher CPC, or which ones have a lower cost per conversion or acquisition rate. And that's why the goal for any Google search or shopping campaign is that you should be getting at least 80%. Yes, that's right. 80% of your clicks and impressions coming from added audiences and demographics that you have manually added to either your Google search or your Google shopping campaign. And the reason for why this is so important if you are looking at running Performance Max campaigns is because my experience with Performance Max campaigns has very clearly shown that the best performing Performance Max campaigns come from accounts where you have large amounts of data so you can feed into Google their audiences and the detailed demographics which are performing best for your individual website, your products, and your services. So right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you some examples. So firstly, what I wanna show you is what generally happens when I take on some Google search or shopping campaigns. And when we go into this audience section, 
what you can actually see when you go down to the clicks and impressions, you can actually see from a total of 29 clicks that this account has actually only had four clicks which have come from added audiences. And in this example, this product is actually a, a gift box service. So they've gone through and added in some audiences like corporate gifting, Christmas hampers, and business gifts, which are all really relevant. But as you can see, from here that in the at the start of this campaign the vast majority of the impressions and the clicks are coming from audience segments outside of those added audiences and then I want to show you this second example and this is actually a health and fitness or home fitness equipment website and what you can see here once again they've done the same thing they've added in some different audiences around fitness classes fitness products and services health and fitness buffs sports and fitness beauty and wellness and once again, you can see the same problem happens again. From all of these added audiences, we've only had 47 clicks. The other 355 clicks have actually come from other audiences and detailed demographics, which have not been added into this account. And that is all the data that you are missing. So you can see with this one here, they have just over 10% of data being collected. Now the example that I wanna show you here is actually a campaign that I took on at the end of April. And what you can actually see in here is that when I first took on that campaign, they had done the same thing where they're only collecting a little bit of data in from their audiences because they had just added in, in two or three audiences from memory in and around web services, business professionals and software. And the reason for that is that because this is for an IT service. But as soon as I took on that account, what we actually did is we went through and added in all of these audiences. So we definitely went through and added anything around technology and also software, but I also added in other ones like Avid Investors, also around government and public sector jobs. So we looked at all those industries. I even went down into adding in people's education and then also whether they held a home or they were married or they were renters. And what we started to do is we started to get a lot more impressions in and around these impressions. And also as well, you could actually see that we're getting the vast majority of the conversions coming in from these added audiences. And what we then did is we went through and we were able to actually look at the search impression share to find audiences where we had a low search impression share, where we could actually grow the market. So you can see here we've added in some bid adjustments because this audience is only around 35%. And we we're focusing on ones that had a low cost per conversion. And what you can actually see here, although this is around web services and IT support, as expected, the web services audiences has been performing well, but it was actually one of these audiences, this Avid Investors audiences, which wasn't initially added, which actually has the best performing cost per conversion. And that's why we've been pretty aggressive with this bid adjustment of at 15%, so that we can start to actually increase the number of impressions and clicks which are happening in that audience. And now what I wanna do is actually just wanna show you, we're looking at the same date range, so 18 to the 19th of the June, and you can see from here when we actually took on the account, we, these were the only conversions that we were getting. They were only getting around about one conversion a week, but from there we were actually able to see much higher conversions coming through because we had this extra data. And this is why it's so important that you add in those audiences because when you can actually see all of this relevant data in the audiences, you can actually start adding those extra bid adjustments and you can see what the results of our campaign has done just by getting that extra audience data and adding in those bid adjustments. So right now, because you know the importance of why you need to add in those audiences to your Google Shopping and your Google Search campaigns, why don't you go and do that right now? And then if you would like to learn more about how to optimize your Google Search and your Google Shopping campaigns using audiences and also demographic and also device and location targeting, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I'll see you on the next video.